everyone. Thank you for your interest in Kent State University. My name is Sarah and I'm an International Admissions Counselor in our Office of Global Education. Today, I'd love to go over some highlights about Kent State with information on our surrounding area, some popular academic programs, and affordability and scholarships specifically for our international students. So let's get started. First, you may be wondering where are we located? Kent State University is in the Midwestern region of the United States in the state of Ohio. And you'll see here on the map, the town of Kent designated with a star, which is where we are located. We're a large public research institution, but we're actually located in what's considered to be a smaller suburban town. And the great thing about this is that the university essentially makes up the entire community of Kent, allowing for that classic college town American feel with welcoming community members and fun local activities throughout the year. But we're also not too far away from the cities of Akron and Cleveland, Ohio, which are two great spots for more cultural activities like art museums, history museums, concerts, and even sporting events. So I talked a bit about the town of Kent, and you can see here some images of our really cute downtown area, which is full of neat dining spots, cafes, cute shops, parks, and more. And our downtown area is a great spot to explore off campus with events happening there throughout the year at maybe local concert venues or various community events in the downtown area. We've also got lots of parks and trails nearby. If you're interested in getting outdoors, you can either hop on a bike that you've rented from campus or maybe get a kayak with friends and get in the river that's nearby. And again, lots of walking trails and hiking as well. Another wonderful aspect of our location in Kent, Ohio, is our proximity to a number of Fortune 500 companies who are familiar with Kent State and with our students. So this means that you have businesses nearby to perhaps have an internship or maybe even apply for a job there upon graduation. And so you may recognize some of those businesses listed here from Deloitte to Ernst & Young or the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland or the Cleveland Museum of Art. I'd also like to highlight some of the places where our international students have gone on to work after leaving Kent State and outside of Ohio. And so you'll see them here from Facebook to Google, Sony Music, or even one of our global campuses for the Cleveland Clinic, which is another thing that we're really proud of in Ohio. So again, not only are our students getting a top quality education while they're at Kent State, but they're also gaining real world and practical experiences where they're then able to land their dream job all over the world upon graduating. And since we are the Kent State Golden Flashes, I'd love to go over some flash facts with you. So I mentioned that we're a large public research institution. We do have around 38,000 students across our eight campus system. And our main campus is the one in Kent, Ohio that I've been discussing. And there we have around 25,000 students at any given time. We also have more than 300 academic programs to choose from, ranging from the bachelor's level to PhD level. So there's really an academic program for everyone at Kent State. We also have around 1,500 international students coming from 99 countries across the world. And some of our top and most popular majors are those in our College of Aeronautics and Engineering, our College of Business, our College of Architecture, and also our School of Fashion. Kent State does have a center in New York City where many of our fashion students choose to study for maybe a summer or the semester. And we have a campus in Florence, Italy, which is really popular among our study abroad students, which also includes international students who are able to study abroad. And we have a partnership program in Geneva, Switzerland. So student life will become very important to you as a college student. And at Kent State, this is something that we're really proud of 
with the services and support that we're able to offer our students. And so here I'll name a few of those things um, that are really here to help you grow, not just in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom as well. And so one thing you may find important is our top rated dining services at Kent State. And this will really come in handy when maybe you are waking up a little bit too late for class and have to grab a healthy but quick snack before class. Or maybe you want to check out one of our more than 11 dining halls on campus each week with new friends. We've also got a free bus service called PARTA, and this can get you around town and around campus. And since we do experience all four seasons in Kent, um, there will definitely be some windy and maybe snowy days throughout the year that you'll probably find yourself grabbing a ride to class for. Um, again, so you're not walking long distances, all cold and shivering, so you can hop on the free warm bus service to get you there. And as I've mentioned at Kent State, we've got a beautiful college town full of parks, gardens, trees. Um, so it's really easy to get out there, go hiking, walking, biking, um, maybe tossing a ball between class with friends. Again, no shortage of options and things to get you involved and get you outside in nature. We also have more than 400 student organizations at Kent State, and these clubs can range from anything that's dedicated to maybe an interest in movies or maybe something that is allowing you to get involved in the community, in community service or activism. Really, you name it, as we have hundreds and hundreds of clubs. And if the club doesn't already exist, you're welcome to make one with you and your friends. We also have various cultural organizations on campus and international clubs if you're looking to meet more students from around the world. Our recreation center offers fitness classes from yoga to weightlifting to cycling. And we've also got basketball courts, a track, a rock climbing wall, a pool, and much more to get you active and staying fit and healthy as a college student. And as I've mentioned a couple of times, we have a number of student-led events and festivals throughout the year, and that includes our international student cook-off. So again, there's never a shortage of things to get involved in, whether you want to help plan those events or simply attend and participate with your friends. Now for affordability, which we realize is probably the most important thing that you're searching for during your college search process. And so here you'll see listed the rates for international undergraduate, graduate, and ESL for one year of study, which includes two semesters of coursework. And again, you'll see the totals listed there at the bottom of the chart. And in terms of scholarships, we do have two scholarships that are reserved specifically for our international undergraduate students. So first would be our global scholarship, which provides $4,000 each year for your time at Kent State. And the great thing about this scholarship is that it's automatic if you're a new incoming undergraduate student. So all you have to do is apply and be admitted to Kent State, and this global scholarship will automatically be applied to you. The second one is our International Freshman Scholarship, which is a great option, though it does have a specific GPA requirement, and you'll need to submit your application at a certain deadline in December prior to the start of the following fall semester. And that one is wonderful because it can provide up to $20,000 a year for your time at Kent State. And if eligible, students are welcome to combine these scholarships and also find scholarships from maybe your academic program or your department at Kent State to help you with tuition and fees as well. And finally, I'd like to give an overview of our international application process, which we're here to make simple and efficient for you as admissions counselors. So first, what you would do is submit an application either through our website or through the Common App if you're applying as an undergraduate applicant. And then within your application, you'll want to prepare some documents, including your high school transcripts and diploma, both in the original language, 
along with English certified copies as well. So these you would email to us after submitting your application if you're an undergraduate student and at the graduate level, you're able to submit these directly in the application. As an undergraduate student, you are not required to submit an SAT or an ACT score as we are test optional. But as an international student, you will be required to submit a test of English language proficiency and you can find the minimum test scores listed here from Duolingo to PTE, IELTS or TOEFL. And if you are coming from a certain country where you feel English should be waived, just go ahead and reach out to us and we'll let you know if that falls on one of our English language uh, waiver lists. Um, and then at the graduate level, there would be varying requirements from a resume to perhaps an essay or goal statement. And again, that would be specific to your graduate program. And you can always reach out to us if you have more questions about that. Then we're really just looking at your GPA at the undergraduate level. And that's something that we convert to a US 4.0 scale in our office. So that's why we ask for all of your transcripts. And then we go through course by course and convert the grade to a US scale to tally up your grade point average or GPA from there to see if you're admissible to Kent State. And at the undergraduate level, we're getting students typically around a 3.0 though we regularly admit students with GPAs well below that and well above that. So if you have questions about eligibility, again, feel free to reach out and we can have a discussion with you about that. And that was everything I had for you today. So thank you for listening and we thank you again for your interest in Kent State. Please reach out to us at this email address here, intladm at kent.edu if you have any questions. And we also have a phone advising schedule listed on our website if you'd like to talk more about the admissions process or anything related to Kent State over the phone. Thank you so much. Talk soon, everyone. And we look forward to helping you become a part of Kent State.